I'm with Chris Kinley, Anderson Toyota Group Pro. Chris, um, this is pretty exciting to have Anderson Toyota really sponsoring this event, throwing this, this awesome shindig on Lake Havasu. Um, tell me about your involvement, Ander uh, Anderson Auto Group, kind of with uh, bass fishermen and the incentives, all the kinds of fun stuff that you guys are doing. Well, I actually have been employed with Anderson Auto, Auto Group for about six years now. And uh, Jason Anderson and the entire Anderson family, the Auto Group, everybody involved. We've always been very involved in the local fishing community, uh, various organizations. And, uh, you know, the, we were approached by Wild West Bass last year about this, and we were all over it. Um, we decided that it would be a great thing for the community here. Um, you know, we uh, have a phenomenal fishery here. Uh, we try to bring people in from not just the Havasu area, uh, the immediate surrounding areas, but as well as Phoenix, you know, Southern California, Las Vegas. Uh, we have people here as far as Utah, Colorado, everything like that. So it's actually really cool. Um, and, uh, you know, we actually have six stores. Uh, we have one that we just recently uh, took over and, and purchased in uh, Lake Elsinore, California. Um, we have, uh, you know, the Toyota store here in Cal in. Uh, Lake Havasu, we have a Chrysler store down the road, uh, Nissan store, we have a two Ford stores in Bullhead City and um, uh, Kingman, Arizona. Uh, we basically try to try to keep involved with the local fishing uh, community as best we can. Uh, Jason Anderson, who owns the group, he's, a he's an avid outdoorsman, uh, fisherman, hunter, this, that, so we actually have a really good time. Um, you know, the one thing is, is that we always try to keep everybody engaged. We try to keep the events coming to Lake Havasu. Uh, not only just, you know, obviously, you know, anytime that we can get a shot at anybody's business um, in this area, in this region, and possibly outside of the region, you know, we, anything that, that we could possibly do. If somebody's looking for a new vehicle, a used vehicle, whatever it may be, we'd be more than happy to help out, you know, and, uh, you know, have a shot again, you know, at trying to bring the, the business here. and. We do everything that we can do to, to, to support, you know, the, the fishing community here, not just in Lake Havasu. We do things all those ways. As far as Lake Mead, we uh, support things in the other parts of Arizona and, and, and other parts of the region. Well, it's obvious that Anderson Auto Group is doing a ton for fishermen. You can just see the, the evidence right here. Yes. But let's talk a little bit fishing, you know, Lake Havasu. Did you practice today? I did. I played hooky today. I actually ran out in the water. My partner, Jimmy Savawini. Uh, we ran out, and uh, it, it, the lake is its in pretty good shape. We've had a really cold, nasty winter out here in the spring. It's been a lot of precipitation with this area is not used to. Um, just a lot of kind of just a lot of weather switches and changes and things like that. We've had warm, stable weather leading up to this event, which I was really crossing my fingers to happen, and it did. Uh, there's fish in all, you know, basically I wouldn't say all three stages of the spawn. There's a lot of fish that are in the pre-spawn stages right now. There's a lot of fish that are starting to move around and sniff on beds. There's some that are actually on beds and locked, you know. It's going to be real interesting. The small mouth have uh, a little bit further advanced in the spawn process right now, but the uh, large mouths are kind of sitting back right now. Females are putting on the, uh, the feed bags and it's looking like it's going to be a potentially heavyweight event. I, I'm thinking maybe a shallow water shootout possibly? It's going to be everything, buddy. We're going to catch them anywhere from 10 inches to probably 20, 25 feet. You know, there's still fish that are kind of still hanging back in schooled up patterns, you know, grouped up offshore, but there's fish in those transitional anywhere from that 12 to 6 foot range, you know, locking a hard cover around you know, cages. We have the artificial habitat in this lake that a lot of people are really familiar with that really help the lake. Um, brush piles, rocks, you know, things along those lines, any trees that are remnant from, you know, that are in the lake. So. Well, I can't wait to just watch how it, all, you know, all unfolds. It's going to be a lot of fun and I wish you a lot of luck. Oh, thank you very much.